Hello and welcome to a somewhat quick look of all of my collection from all the coffee shops and not only because it's not only coffee shops we have here uh, but mostly coffee shops from all over the UK mostly London because that's where I live uh, and I'll be going away uh, with through these cups just quickly sharing my opinions uh, regarding if I like their coffee or not. Um, just a disclaimer, obviously I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I paid my hard-earned money to all of them uh, for how much they asked me. And just as another note, all of these companies are chains. None of them are like one-off specialty coffee shop. All of them uh, have more than one shop in the UK. So let's go, go over all of them. Uh, I'll try to make this as quick as possible. So let's start from this one. So Joe and Juice, obviously I think if you lived in London, you definitely know about this brand. It's quite expensive. Uh, sometimes I write here what I think, uh, but sometimes I don't. This is cut from Joe and Juice, as you can see. And uh, what I can say about latte and cappuccino, because that's what I mostly drink. And sometimes I drink filter coffee, if they give one, and very rarely cup, uh, hot chocolate, but mostly I drink cappuccino or, or latte. And depends on uh, depends on my mood. Uh, very overpriced John juice. I don't think it's worth it, um, <laughs> to be honest, but it, it does give you a good atmosphere if you want to uh, sit and have a look at uh, their um, options. But let's put it away. So chicken, this is not a coffee shop, but uh, I just kept it because it's cool. Uh, it just adds to my collection. It's quite tall. Uh, reminds me of milkshake. Uh, let's move on. This is a special Costa cup uh unused actually i haven't used this i just asked them to give me one um, i'm not sure if this is for pride month or what was the reason for this one i have another one which is the standard uh, costa cup right here this is the one usually you get uh, so i guess that's one one off one less and this one is actually a smaller one anyway Cof costa uh costa is a very well known brand uh it does give you decent coffee i wouldn't say it's good it's just okay uh, some people really like it and they do have a loyalty system so you can collect points etc so if you keep buying Costa you obviously get cheaper because you know you get points and stuff it's not terrible but it's not the best obviously uh, I think it's not a surprise they do actually have good uh, hot chocolate I remember they gave me once really hot good uh, really good hot chocolate moving on cafe or cafe concerto excuse me if I'm saying something wrong uh, and correct me please in the comments Cafe Concerto is technically not a takeaway, but now is takeaway because of the pandemic. But they used to be just a cafe and you could ask for a takeaway cup uh, and take away coffee with you. Now, obviously, they do all of them. Uh, they are a chain, very well known, actually quite good qual uh, quality coffee. Uh, but I have to say that their quality varies a lot. So, for example, if you take coffee today from Regent Street and then next day from during peak hours, let's say, if this, if this was post-pandemic or pre-pandemic world, uh, the quality would go down. And I think it's predictable because peak hours, less um, uh, less time to make it good coffee and maybe they just quickly make coffee and without taking care of, uh, you know, quality and stuff. But it's very good coffee. This is a higher tier, I would say, than Costa. Uh, and this is their cup. Really good. Moving on. Uh, Petsham Nurseries. I actually don't remember this one. Uh, yeah, I actually have no idea about this one. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, I'm assuming it's a coffee shop. Otherwise, it would have not been here. Um, unless it's specific cups. Like I said, if, for example, if it's Subway, I do have Subway here. This is specifically, I have it because this is an old one. You will no longer get this cup because they changed their logo. So I'm just keeping this as a relic. Not not really a coffee shop cup. Uh, and same goes for McDonald's, which I have somewhere here. I don't know, but let's move on. Uh, Allegro Coffee. This is a good coffee shop, actually. Again, no, nothing underneath, but usually I do write them. Should be something underneath. But Allegro is good. Um, not bad. I do remember them. Uh, it's impossible to remember all of them, obviously, but I do remember those that stick out. And I do remember this name. It's pretty good coffee, but not much to add. Wenzel's. This is a bakery, which also gives you coffee takeaway. I don't like them. I don't like the coffee. Uh, I just kept the cup, obviously, because it's obviously it's in my collection. I tried their coffee, so I'm going to have to look at that cup. 
you can buy uh, some food there. Uh, you can buy some uh, cakes and stuff, but and bread because it's a bakery. But for coffee, I would not suggest Wenzel's. Ooh, this is a fancy cup. This is from East India Company. Again, this is not really a coffee shop, but it is a chain. Uh, they do give you coffee. Uh, I'm not sure if they're open now, because when I took this, they said they do offer coffee takeaway, which is why it, again, appears in my collection. They are good. They are no doubt really good, because obviously it is a coffee company. Um, it's not... Uh, it is a tea and coffee company, uh, mostly tea, I think. Uh, East India is supposed to be a tea company, but they do go give you coffee, and I always take coffee from all of these places, uh, even the chicken one too. Uh, this is just a cool cup, but I did take coffee from them, so that's the reason. Uh, but anyway, really good coffee coming from a tea company, and I would say same. Uh, speaking of another tea company, Wittard, they also give you coffee. And it's also a chain. This is well known for its tea, obviously, <clears throat> but uh, they also give you a decent coffee. Again, not top tier, definitely not top tier. Um, moving on, Moose Tail. Uh, not good, no. I don't remember much about this. Uh, if, if something is good, I would remember their name, at least. Not really high tier coffee. Usually coffees are not that bad, but some of them I remember being bad. Oh, this is a Virgin Trains. Another thing that is a relic. There is no longer Virgin Trains. This is this is no longer in UK. But this is a chain technically because you can buy uh, coffee in their trains. This is from the special carriage that uh, in the train that offers you different things to drink. This is the date. Uh, I don't know for what to be honest, but I do remember this being a horrible coffee. Never, never buy coffee from. Uh, trains inside trains the the restaurant carriages apostrophe right apostrophe i don't know how you say it but apostrophe apostrophe this is a decent coffee i do remember uh them uh i don't actually remember the prices but you can look in my uh, original video of tier list comparisons this is more like a cup comparison and some comments with it but i do have a tier list video you can watch that too on my channel for more detailed look. Benugo, another chain, another coffee uh, chain. It's not bad, it's it's not the best, uh, I hate to say it, it's not the best, but it's not bad. Again, more details on, on the actual tier list video. Zabardust, I don't know how you say it. This is actually an Indian wrap company. They do give you coffee and it's not good. <laughs> Sorry, Savardas. You do actually have good uh, food. Uh, not the coffee, though. Uh, this is Coffee Geek and Friends. I don't know if they're still alive because I passed through them a few weeks ago in uh, Victoria, which they were situated. But I don't remember. It's not bad coffee. It's actually good. Um, but I don't know if they're still around, unfortunately. Let's move on. Itsu, oh, another overpriced coffee and place. Their food is good, sushi is expensive, uh, most of their food is, in my opinion, expensive, and coffee, not great, no, no, no. This is definitely not a coffee shop uh, type of coffee quality, but they do offer coffee, so that's why I have it in my collection. Black Sheep Coffee, this is actually getting really popular. Before they just had like two or three shops in whole London, now I see more and more pop up. Sorry Black Sheep Coffee, I don't like this, your coffee. I tried you so many times. I tried latte, cappuccino, I tried to like you, I, I tried to give another chance. I just don't like it, sorry. It's not for me. Moving to something that I love, Over Under. This is from Earl's Court and this is pure quality. I don't know what do these guys put in this coffee, but if you ask for cappuccino, you get cappuccino, like a proper, proper cappuccino. It is not cheap though, but it is actually good. Let's move on. What do we have inside this pod? Oh God, I can't remove it. What is inside? Oh, oh yeah, this is a little one. This is a... Uh... I think I got this from National Gallery. They have this shop, or they had. I actually haven't checked it yet, but 
This is cute. Uh, not good coffee though. Uh, it's from like a, it's like a canteen type place. It's like, reminds me of like a, you know, when you have museums and gift shops and the gift shops have cafes. Yeah, exactly that. That's, that's the feeling you get in those cafes. It's not the best coffee you get. So sorry about that. Pod, just pod. And it says serious coffee. And it's quite average, to be honest. It's not bad. Uh, no comments underneath, but it's not bad. It's just average, uh, to be honest. So really not much to say about pod, unfortunately. Oh, the Cornwall. I, I'm sure some people will hate me for this. They will hate me for saying this, but I just don't like this Cornwall coffee. I don't know why. The pastry the, that you make is great. Is great, like the food you make is great and it's awesome cup. Look at this, look at this cup. It's really nice. But like, is it double? Seriously, it looks like a double cup. But the coffee you make is just so plain average. I mean, come on guys, step up your game. Speaking of plain average, oh, hello Nero, or Nero. Cafe Nero, Cafe Nero, whatever. Italian coffee company. Uh, I think this is a shame to Italians. This is shame to Italy, if you could call this Italian coffee company, because it's really not good. Um, it's not even cheap. Like, it's, it's uh, well, like, it's pretty high-priced coffee. It used to be cheap. But when I bought this uh, last time, they were not cheap. They were, like, quite competitive. Two ni 290 or to something, like, uh, around three pounds is, is like, uh, you know, it's reaching there. Anything beyond uh, 3.5, I consider luxury coffee because, uh, on average, coffee costs about 295 to 280, especially with pandemic. Now, prices are even increasing for coffee. Anyways, Nero is not good. Sorry. I mean, it's just not good. Like, do you want me to be honest or, like, not honest? I mean, if you put, compared to Joe and Juice, go with Joe and Juice, but you have to pay more for that. Uh, but, you know. Cripsy Cream. Oh, it's a donut place, right? Yeah, it is. Um, they do give you coffee, though. And it's average. Very, very average coffee. It's obviously, they're not a coffee company. But, you know, I tried their coffee and I like their donuts. But it's average coffee. So, nothing much to add. Artisserie. This is interesting. This is very interesting. I don't remember much about this place, unfortunately. Um, maybe you guys can leave in the comments what do you think. I don't remember this one, so really not much comment about that, unfortunately. Move on. Waitrose. Oh, you might think this is not a coffee company. Yep, it is not a coffee company. This is just a free cup that they used to give in the coffee, in the coffee aisle of uh, Waitrose's. Uh, and their coffee is actually, it was actually good, surprisingly. I mean, it's a middle-class uh, supermarket. It's not not very expensive, but it is expensive supermarket. But um, the coffee was free. And if you had the, you know, Waitrose card or something, you would get free coffee. I don't think they do this anymore. I mean, they changed the policy so that you have to come with your own cup. So they removed all the cups and I kept this as a relic. So I can't say much about this because it's not really a coffee company. Uh, oh, okay, Bloomberg, another non-coffee company. This is a very special cup. Not everyone can get these because you have to be inside Bloomberg to get this. Uh, unfortunately, I don't actually remember drinking coffee there. So I just took the cup for my collection. Avocado, I don't know if you say it correctly. <clears throat> another, I think, sushi place. And I don't like their coffee. Unfortunately, not much... Uh, I can say about them because even in my tier list, I think it's not even high. Uh, I would do an updated tier list anyway, but this is their cup or used to be their cup. I don't know how they look like now, but this is their this was their cup, and I really have not much to say about them. Uh, what is this awesome cup? Grazie. What is this? Oh God, I actually have no idea what this is. It says limited. Edition cup for daisy green collections by Grazie. Grazie, Italian. Oh my god, I have nothing to say about this. I don't know what this is. Oh god, just gives next to here. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, VQ. Uh, VQ uh, is a chain. Uh, they have few shops. I don't know if they're open now with the pandemic stuff. Uh, it's decent coffee, actually. It's not very expensive, but it's surprisingly good. I think I took this one from Notting Hill one, which I think is closed now, but it's good. 
Natural Kitchen. Ooh, another good coffee shop. This is technically a not a coffee shop. It's just a cafe slash restaurant slash brasserie or slash whatever place. But it's a food place. Uh, I think it's the first place I've seen in London that only uh, that didn't accept cash back then. Now it's normal not to, to accept cash. Uh, but it's actually really good coffee. Highly recommend them for coffee and food uh, as well. Flo Cafe. Oh, finally, I have some notes here. It says cappuccino three pound ten, purchased on twenty first July twenty twenty. Good. So that's it. You heard it here. Flow Cafe, good. See, sometimes I do write them under there. Coffee Island. This is actually good coffee. This is in central London, uh, next to Dishum Indian restaurant. And it's good. That's all I have to say. That's all I remember, to be honest, from them. Let's move to the smaller cups categories. Oh, actually, let's move them, move them here. Some of the cups are super small. What is this? Coco di Mama. Oh yes, Coco di Mama. Uh, this is also another chain that I am disappointed because before I took the coffee, I really liked their coffee uh, at some time and then at some point and then it's just all went downhill, to be honest. Unfortunately, I, I cannot recommend them. They used to be good though, so sorry. Oof, Monmouth. Monmouth Coffee Company. This is serious coffee. Now we are entering into, entering into S tier. This is, see, they even sticked, it's a sticker of a coffee that you're drinking. And who collected it? I don't know, maybe some names. It says Brazil. And I said, very good, 2019 May on it. And it's, it's actually correct. It still holds up. I've been there a few times uh, during pandemic. It's just super nice coffee shop. It is in um, Seven Dials, just above Covent Garden, if you are in London or you live in London. Try and visit them. They're actually really good. I cannot recommend them more. It's probably so far the best coffee uh, I have tried. Uh, Lola's Bakery. It's another bakery. And you can see some... What's inside? Some trash. Some comments here. It says 60221, £2.35. Meh. Bland. That's a Gordon Ramsay moment right here. Very bland coffee. Their bakery food is really good. <clears throat> All of their... Pa uh, uh, pastry all the cakes actually really good but unfortunately they don't seem to make really good coffee in my opinion obviously it's all opinion so don't crucify me if you love them or any of these companies nordic bakery oh hello this is a cute place uh it's in soho and actually they know what a good coffee tastes like or is like they make good coffee that's all i can say quite a cute one Moving on, this is Department of Coffee. It doesn't say on it, but this is Department of Coffee and Social Affairs. I think that's how it says the correct name. It's quite good coffee. It's quite good coffee. I like them very much. Moving on, Illy. This is, I think, from uh, Regent Street next to Westminster University. And yes, they actually make good coffee. Illy is a very famous company. You, you probably see this uh, uh, logo this logo on many, many, many cups in good restaurants, good good restaurants, good cafes, good hotels even, this logo. And they do make a really good coffee. So that's all I can say. Greg's, oh, okay. So I know some people will uh, be very, very confused here, but this is seriously the best bargain you will ever get in UK. This coffee costs like one something, 180 or something. I'm not sure, but in my tier list video, I, I will tell that or I probably made that video already. You can watch that video and you can see exactly what was the price exactly there. But I love their price to quality ratio. You will not get coffee at this price at Greg's. It's not the best coffee, obviously, but the price that they're asking, uh, the price that they want from you, it's totally worth it. Yeah, I know, it's not the great. It's like a lot of people make joke of Greg's. It's not, It's it's for for the price it offers, it's probably the best value you can get with the coffee. So yeah, that's that's my verdict because I know, I know when I see it. Okay, patisserie Valerie, or well, I don't know how you say this, patisserie Valerie or whatever. Um, it's a bit overpriced coffee shop. Uh, it's not bad. It's just not worth the money. This is complete opposite of Greg's. These are like polar opposites. These two. 
This offers very like top quality, but it's very high price. And this one is good quality at what price it offers. But you know, it's not, still not worth it in my opinion. You can try if you want. It's not bad coffee by any means. Oh look, Peyton and Brian, it happens again. Wait, do I have two of these? Oh yeah, I have two of these. I should get rid of the small one probably then. Keep the big one. Yeah, let's keep the big one. Uh, I spoke about this already, so let's move on. Carpo, yes, this is another coffee. No comments, looks like. Um, very dark cup. Uh, nuts, chocolate and coffee. It's not bad. I think I remember them, but I don't have much to say, to be honest. Oh, actually, this is a sad story. Uh, this is Cafe Vernano. This no longer exists, and I think in London they closed their shops. Unfortunately, they used to make one of the best coffees I have tried. Not just in London, but the coffees I have tried. They're actually a worldwide company. They have coffees all over the place, all over the countries. This logo is their logo. Um, such a good coffee. Unfortunately, as far as I know at this moment, they don't have shops anymore. Oh, look like, looks like it's McDonald's coffee. It's technically a coffee shop because it's from McCafe. And this is pure garbage. Like, I'm sorry, McDonald's, you advertise your coffee like, oh, the coffee shouldn't cost like a fortune. Yeah, but it shouldn't be garbage too. But this coffee is garbage. So sorry for hurt feelings, McDonald's. Paul, this is interesting, uh, interesting uh, coffee shop. This is actually a... Um, a bakery slash brasserie slash cafe as well. They have lots of shops in London. And how to say this? Th their quality varies a lot. Sometimes it's such a good quality and sometimes you are like considering to get, go get Costa after this. You know, it's it's such a big variety, like a big dis dis discrepancy. I don't know how you say that word, but it's not always good, but it's not it's not usually bad. What is this, Ravello? Oh yes, this is a good one. Uh, this is a very rare one, actually. You don't see this these uh, this coffee shop many in many different places in London, but actually it's good. I actually like them. Uh, I have to actually find them again just to try uh, to see if they stayed good. Oh, hello, Oli and Steen. Uh, another uh, highly overrated company. They have really, really good food. I have to tell them, they have really good food but really average coffee. I know lots of people like this. I know, trust me, I know. I've seen many people there. I don't, uh, I mean, I don't crucify you for liking them. They're really good, f maybe for some people, but not for me. Trust me, I've, I've tried coffee a lot of times. It's not the best coffee. Uh, it's actually expensive too, so. Oh, another natural kitchen. I don't know why I have two of them. Let's get rid of this one. Oh, another Lola bakery. Why do I have two of these? Okay, avocado, I think I have this one as well. Oh, so many duplicates, let's move on. Not much left, guys, or girls. Uh, let's finish up with these four columns left. Lawrence, this is recent, right? Yeah, 260, good, not special, 27 of 4, 2021. So yeah, good, but not special. And 260 is really good price, so good price quality. So this is sketch. So this is probably not fair to include in my coffee shop video, but I am including in this video because it's not coffee shop video because they are a cafe slash restaurant, like, a, like even a club too, but their coffee was four pounds. Not bad, but not four pounds, right? It's quite recent too. I mean, come on, this is way overpriced in my opinion. So let's add it here. Amorino. This is actually a cute place. This is Italian chocolate ice cream place. You will get good good ice cream here. But their coffee is not that good, unfortunately. Sorry, Amorino. You're not a coffee shop, and it shows. Uh, this is, I think... Was this Sumit Simit Sarai? I don't know where this is, was coming from, but this is the name. Uh, this is a Turkish place, and it, it was so hot when I ordered it, I could not drink it, to be honest. It was such a bad coffee. I could not drink it for like 10 minutes. Like, why do you make coffee and close it and give it to someone he cannot or she cannot drink it? What's the point? They can't drink it. Just make good quality coffee and decent decent uh, temperature. 
This is Grind. This is one of my favorite places, actually. It's a really cute place to be. They have a few shops and they make good coffee. That's my quick verdict from Grind. Protein House. You probably have seen this in around London. Not very, not very known, but it is. It exists, and it's very average. It's painfully average. Has a nice uh, cup, but not much to say. Coffee and carrot. Oh, okay. So this is actually from Brighton. This is not from London. It's a cute, uh, cute coffee shop, and it has actually good coffee. It's just from Brighton. I think they are not in London, unfortunately. Oh yes, uh, a special edition cup from Pret a Manger or Pret a Manger. I don't know how you say this. It's probably French, so it's pro probably Pret a Manger or something like this. I'm not French. I don't know how you say this, but it's Pret. Basically, everyone calls it Pret. Uh, it's like it's such a, like a, such a meme. It's like a middle class um, coffee shop for people who like to work on the go. It's very, very medium quality. It's not a top quality coffee, but it's not bad. It's like, it's like if you get Pret coffee, it's fine. Like it's not, uh, it's not bad. It's not amazing. It's just Pret. I don't know. I don't have much to say about Pret to be honest, because they're so they're so good at being average. Like you know, Santa Nata. This is I, actually I have the date of purchase, but I don't have any comments. Probably because I didn't like it. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Uh, Santa Nata is a great place if you want Portuguese cakes. They make Portuguese cakes and they're really good. Uh, the people who work there are also very nice, uh, but unfortunately not very good at making coffee, or at least their coffee was not good. Oh, over under, I think this happened again. I think this is another duplicate. I need to check again, but this is another good place that I already mentioned. Sacred. This is a unique place. This coffee is quite unique. Uh, they don't have many shops in London, but I do remember liking their coffee. So, yes, good job, Sacred. Oh, Planet Organic, another cute place. Uh, they make good coffee. I, I have only good memories uh, visiting them. I like their Tottenham Court Road shop, and they actually know how to make good coffee. So, that's a good one. Gentlemen's Baristas, oh yes, of course, two ninety, great, and it's actually also a recent purchase. Amazing coffee, amazing. Like I have no words. This is this is top tier stuff. Top tier stuff. Uh, this is Coffee House Hay. I actually don't remember what this is. Yeah, I don't remember about drinking here. Sorry, Hay. Probably I don't know what to say. Maybe good or bad. Wait, I have another sacred. Why do I have two cups for sacred? That goes out. What is this one? This one is... What is this? Limited edition cup from Daisy Green Collection. What is this Daisy Green Collection? Another one. I don't know what this is. Sorry, Daisy Green Collection. I don't know what you are. Oh, Fitz... Fitzbillies. Oh, this is Cambridge coffee. Oh, I don't know why it's here. It's probably because it's just my collection, but this is not from London. Okay. They have actually good buns. They sell buns. Another Cafe de Nata. I don't know why I have another one. I don't need two. Let's get rid of this one. And Leonidas. This is chocolate place. Premium uh, Belgian chocolate. They make really good, good, good chocolate. Unfortunately, their coffee is average. Very average. Let's move on. Emporium. This is another bakery that make coffee. And it says good. It says three pounds, good, 2021. So yeah, that's all you need to know. They actually have good bread too. So Organic Co. What is this? It says third May, good. Barely readable, good. You can see it's kind of like, yeah, there you go. You can see it's good. So yeah, I don't know. This is West Hampstead, Hackney, this name, L Lowton? I don't know how you say that. Quite dirty. Yeah, so it's good, apparently, since I commented it underneath. Oh, Ronis. Oh, yeah, Ronis. Uh, it says okay, 280. It's probably because it's expensive for how it tasted. But the, they have good cakes too, Ronis. We're getting there, guys. Let's, let's finish up. Another Benugo. This is uh, 
It's a special edition cup, maybe that's why I kept it. But there's another cup inside my noodle, I cannot remember. Oh, finally, I removed it. What is this? Oh, Burn Co, obviously. Yes, 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 Burn Co. These guys actually are good at making coffee. I don't mind them. Small cup. And Benugo is a duplicate, so let's throw it away. Just a few left, guys. Let's see, what is this? Oh, this is a special one. This is on Regent Street, I think, or near Regent Street or Oxford Street. They have good coffee, but I forgot their name. This is their logo, but I don't remember their name. But they're definitely on uh, some sort of cir circus. No, not circus, but like a square. Uh, anyway, the Monaco Cafe. Oh, yes, this is another cool cafe place. This logo is quite famous as well. Uh, they make a uh, newspaper and it's really fun. I think I love their coffee. I love their coffee. This is also top tier stuff. What is this? 29 Steps Coffee Com? I have no idea what this is. I don't remember. Sorry, guys. Sometimes I just don't remember. I have to be honest with you. Tom's Roasting Co. This cup provides water. I also have no idea what this is coming from. I have to revisit and tell you what I think in my future videos. Same with this one, like Samsung cup, right? This is just a Samsung coffee cup, but this is not, obviously Samsung is not a coffee company. Uh, Leto, I think that's how you say this. Uh, I also don't remember this coffee shop, unfortunately. Nice cup though. Nice cup. Hagen. Oh, this is new. This is on uh, on Regent Street. Uh, sorry, on uh, yeah Regent Street. You can find this one in Regent Street. Three pounds or five cappuccino, good and the date. Yeah. So that's all you need to know. Hagen is good. My verdict. Intermission. This is in West Hampstead, I think. It says good. Three pounds. Yeah. So three pounds, good. Good for three pounds, I guess. We have Wired Coffee, Wired Co. And it says, very good, 330 large. This is large? How is this large? It says large. Very good. Okay, so Wired is very good. Glad to know. Finally, we have just a little bit left. Burger King, obviously not a coffee company. And I just kept it for, for keeping the in my collection. Urban Tea Rooms, another non-coffee company, I think. But they, I think they made good coffee. That's why I remember visiting them. So that's all I can say. I, I think, I would say, I think they're good. Sourced market. Yes, 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 yes. Sourced market is good coffee. I, I don't know why I didn't write it underneath, but this is another good place I like. Not very top tier, but it's a good place. I would say it's not with the big guys, you know, with gentlemen baristas and Monmouth, but it's good. Moving on, eat. Very average, to be honest. It's just painfully average place. They have good food, but average coffee. Very average coffee. We have another Emporium cup. I don't know why. We have Winter Wonderland, which was canceled this year, unfortunately. And obviously their, their coffee is just bad. <laughs> it's not a coffee chain, but when they make coffee and sell, it's just bad. Uh, moving on, we have Love Coffee from whom? What is, what is this company? Nothing on it. Sorry, I don't know. Looks nice. Looks nice though. We have Wayne Company. Oh my god, I have only horror stories with this company. It's just a horrible coffee, that's all I have to say. They used to have a monopoly on Knightsbridge near the Waitrose and they just produced garbage coffee. Sorry guys, but uh, I have to be honest. So Paul Rodas, oh, another good place that turned very average. I loved this place back in the day. Um, they used to make quality coffee. They are next, next to Notting Hill. And then something went wrong and their coffee went downhill, unfortunately. I have to visit them again just to confirm my, my disappointment, if there is, if it's true. Ori, this is very high tier uh, French uh, coffee company and they actually make good coffee. It's just expensive. That's why I remember. This is also from Kensington. That's where I used to work. Jamie's Italian. This is not a coffee shop, um, but maybe it's this coffee that they were selling me. 
but I don't actually have any memories with this cup. Sorry, can't say much. Mikel, oh, this is a Greek place on Tottenham Court Road. And I love them. Their coffee is really good. And they're very friendly people too. So I highly recommend this. Not top tier, but highly recommend this. Okay, I'll leave Starbucks in the end, okay? I'll leave the Starbucks uh, in the end. I'll explain why later. The last column is left. Grounds of Arabica. This is average place. Uh, unfortunately, coffee is very average. Very, very like everyday coffee. Nothing special. That's what I, what I can say about them now. Uh, this is SS, which is Crush. The Crush, comp uh, Crush coffee. Again, very average coffee. They have good food though. So I don't know why it says smart coffee. Raw juice, fit food. The, the food is good. Juice is good. Coffee, eh, not so much. I actually, I think they make bulletproof coffee. So if anyone is interested in that, they actually have it. We have uh, further stuff. Oh yeah, so Soho Company. They are also actually also getting really uh, popular too. A bit expensive, but they have really nice place to sit when, once they we are allowed to go inside, obviously. It's a bit expensive and not very high quality, I would say. It's very average coffee. Le Pain Quadrin. Le Pain... Le, le Pain Quotidien. Uh, I don't know. You know about this if you live in, in London. You probably know this brand. Uh, what can I say? Really average coffee. Um, very average. It's just like good, but average good. You know, nothing special. Moving on. We have Gales. Oh, yes. Another famous uh, middle class uh, favorite coffee shop for everyone taking everyone else's business, highly competitive. There are so many girls and women sitting in Gales. This is, I hate to say this, but it's again, very average coffee. It's just an everyday coffee. It's not remarkable in any way. Like even Starbucks is remarkable in some way, but Gales is just Gales. Like it's just average coffee. I mean, if you like it, sure. But if you're looking for something like very exciting, this isn't, this isn't the one. Oh, another Grex cup. I don't know why I have two. Uh, this is uh, weird. I don't remember Souffle. I don't remember this company. I don't know why I have this one, to be honest. We have a few left. Uh, bon Bush. No idea what this is. Patisserie coffee, but I don't remember it. And there's nothing written, so interesting. I have to visit that again, maybe. Oh, Pure. Hello, Pure. Very well-known brand. Cute coffee cup. Uh, looks like chocolate inside, actually, not coffee. But I do remember them being okay coffee. It's not special. It's basically like Gales. Basically. I would say this is just like Gales. I don't see a difference. Leon. Oh, hello, Leon. This is a very good food place. If you want to get some food during lunch break, in your working hours, I'd recommend Leon. They're really good at food. Uh, coffee, not so much. Uh, again, very average, I would say. Less than Gales, but not bad. Average, you know. Duncan, okay, you might thinking, why do I have this? Yeah, because they also give you coffee. And actually, their coffee is very, very good. I don't know how they, how a, a donut place makes such a good coffee. And unfortunately, the last time I tried, I didn't like it. But every other time I tried, I loved their coffee. I don't know what happened last time. Uh, also, they have amazing deals, like uh, like Coffee Plus Donut for three pounds. Like it's amazing price for value. Um, so I I recommend if you like donuts and coffee, just get a deal with them. It's not everywhere, unfortunately. So you have to find them in Baker Street. Uh, that's where I remember getting it. But yeah, they actually have good coffee. Surprisingly, I wouldn't say it's like. Like let's be honest, it's not Gales, but it's not. It's up there, you know. Oh, Elan, another beautiful, cute cafe called Elan Cafe. It's very popular. I think it's Elan or Elan. I don't know. Maybe Elan. Uh, good coffee. All I can say, it's very good coffee. Higher than Gales, in my opinion, quality-wise. But it's expensive. Just be careful. Not very cheap. We are on a finishing line. We've just a few left. This is Bloomberg Cup, so this doesn't count. We have Planet Organic, which I already spoke about. We have Coco di Mama, which I already spoke about. So that also goes. And we have finally two last 
things, which are very, very big brands. McDonald's, which has garbage coffee, which I already spoke about, but this is an old cup, so I'm gonna keep it. And we have Starbucks. Ah, oh, yes, Starbucks. So what can I, can I say about Starbucks? All of these brands right here, all of these guys produce coffee and none of them have distinct smell and distinct taste as does Starbucks. I don't know what and why this happens. I don't know what they put in their coffee, what's special about their coffee, but this brand, the moment you enter their shop, the moment you try their coffee, you know it's Starbucks. I don't know what they're doing with their coffee. In my opinion, it's not bad coffee. But again, if you want to get a coffee and drink it, be that latte, be that cappuccino, be that filter coffee or espresso. I don't drink espressos, but I assume it's same. But speaking for cappuccinos, speaking for lattes out there, that's what I drink with all of these cups uh, mostly. I never want to go and drink again at Starbucks. I would go to Gales. I would go to, I don't know, other good brands I mentioned to you, right? Throughout this video but I would never go again to Starbucks to get coffee because I don't understand what is the appeal. It's very specific taste. It's very distinct, but specific taste for specific people. And maybe it's just a vibe you're getting or, or the atmosphere of every shop or people who go there. I don't know what, or maybe points you get. Uh, maybe that's why people go back to them because of the, I don't know, loyalty system or, or just they, they like that distinct taste. But again, like I would go to Planet Organic to get coffee. I would go to Nordic Bakery, for example. That's a good one too. Illy. Yeah, Illy would be a good option too, but I would not go there. Here, I would go to Mikel too. I like them too. Um, but no, this is not the best coffee in the world. This is not the best coffee for me out of all these companies. In my opinion, Monmouth, Gentleman Baristas, and what was other things I mentioned, but Monmouth and Gentleman Baristas are the ones that I very distinctly remember being surprised, like after drinking coffee. Um, that's my opinion. Obviously, you might have different, but this is this is all my collection. Thanks for watching for this very long video. And yeah, see you in the next videos.